One, one of the great medical advances of the past several decades has been the advent of antibiotics, which is keeping people safe from bacterial infections that would otherwise be life-threatening. But we're now running into a problem where over the past several decades, resistance to these antibiotics has evolved and spread across the world. And we're getting to a point where, where once easily treatable infections are becoming increasingly, increasingly difficult to treat, putting patients' lives at risk. As resistance continues to evolve and drugs to treat them become more scarce, it's really important that we understand how to more effectively prevent patients from acquiring these infections in the first place. And in thinking about how to prevent infections in a nursing home, the way people typically think about it is you have an individual in a nursing home and you have an antibiotic resistant organism that you're really interested in and you think about what is the optimal way to prevent this patient from getting this organism. But this kind of neglects the complex reality on the ground where inside of these nursing homes we don't just have organism A, but we have organism B and C and D and E and F and there's just many different organisms. And what happens is that if you try to intervene to control A, Oftentimes there's a collateral effect that you increase the risk of acquiring B or C. And in addition to you know, this patient-centric view, um, there's also interactions between B, C, and A where having B might increase the chances of getting a serious infection with C. And in our work, we teased apart these different sorts of interactions and showed how complex it is. So our big picture takeaway from this work is that we need to stop thinking about controlling antibiotic resistance as a single organism problem, and we need to start thinking of these healthcare facilities as ecosystems with many different antibiotic resistant organisms, where we need to understand the structure of the ecological networks and how we can target them most effectively to disrupt the whole system and control the overall antibiotic resistance burden in these facilities.